This week, 220 high school seniors in Paradise, California received their diplomas. It was the first time the class of 2019 was reunited since a massive and deadly wildfire damaged their school and destroyed the town seven months ago. Students spent their final year attending classes in a nearby town or online. Earning a college degree can often be one of life's most important accomplishments and maybe even more so for young people from difficult backgrounds. We met up with one young woman who made the journey from homelessness to the heights of academia. Athena Capo Battaglia found the value of home in a New York City Police Department um, precinct. You go on that side. There's such a community with the auxiliary officers. They're all there for you. Mm -hmm. They have your back when you need them. The journey for the 18-year-old volunteer is far from ordinary. Athena was recruited two years ago near a homeless shelter. She's lived there since high school with her mother. Lorraine Capo was a dance teacher, but lost her job and their home after being diagnosed with cancer. What was the hardest? I think that first night, like when we went into the shelter system, we just had one suitcase for each of us and it was kind of like, we're totally on our own right now. Like you're all just at the will of like whatever the system, like wherever you end up. Despite all that, Lorraine never gave up on Athena's promise, her education. Well, I've always made sure they were pens, erasers, internet, things that kids need today, nowadays. How are you able to do that? You just save for the things that are important. Which motivated her to be exceptional. She graduated from high school with a perfect 4.0 GPA. I was very worried I wasn't going to get in college, and so I applied to like 25 college. Well, 25? I just kept applying, so I was like, I have to get in at least one. And she did. I just saw all the confetti and I was like, wait, wait. Like, I was just like, yes, I, like it happened. It just felt so good because I was like, I finally did something like, no, like really noticeable and like it was good. Athena earned a full ride to Harvard University. I'm actually here. It's, it's pretty, it's really surreal in a way. She just finished her first year and is studying to become a neuroscientist. The battle never truly feels over. Do you feel as though you had to make it? Yeah, I, like, I didn't feel like there was an option of like failing. Because? Because I had, my mom was depending on it. You sound like you were trying to be the rock for your mom. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we were kind of each other's rock, I'd say, yeah. Because it was kind of like hard on both of us. And so I wanted to like make sure that she was still smiling. <laughs> she is smiling. And while they continue to live in the shelter, they're looking ahead. But I came from somewhere that's a bit more difficult. I'm not leaving it behind as in forgetting about it, but taking that as a learning experience. Showing that in every one of us, there's more than meets the eye. Dream a little dream of me. Oof, Athena, <laughs> I can't say enough about her. She is just moving and shaking in her new setting. She mm -hmm. loves the, the whole notion of learning. She wants to go back to summer school and then next wow. year is like, it just does not stop. And, and the police, her police work really is near and dear to her heart. She is such a, a trooper in her precinct and, and uh, the other officers there so appreciate her and just are astounded by what she's been able to do. That they're still in the shelter. It, yes. it, I mean, it's a- That is reality. Uh, yeah, yeah. And thank God they have a place where they can be that's safe yeah. like that, which doesn't happen for them. Mm -hmm. It's lovely to see what she and her mom have done for each yeah. other. Michelle, what an amazing story. Thank yeah. you.